beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed we went on, Holy Spirit. We went on, Holy Spirit. We went on for fire. Testaments of the finger of God in our midst. And Lord, we take our time and give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next two to three minutes, I just want us to express our gratitude to God. Everyone, just mention all the things the Bible says. Count your blessings. Lord, we give you thanks. Zibrando Jalakata. Thank you. Those he saved from accidents. Those who were killed for the miracles. Changing impossible situations. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We acknowledge you as the doer of these things. No man is worthy of praise. Not Joshua Selman. Not anyone else. There is one who is worthy of all the praise and we thank you. We praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With everything, with everything, we will shout for your glory. With everything, with everything, we will shout. For your praise, lift your hands and bless his name. With everything, 
Worship rises from your spirit. One more time, just the voices. The power of God is healing people right now. Sick bodies are being healed right now. Sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ziba Silaman Protishala. Your presence is all we have, oh God. Your presence is all we have. In you we make our boast all day long. Your presence is all that we have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord, we give you praise. I thank you. I thank you for the gift of your presence. This is all that we have. This is all that we have. Your presence. We give you praise. We give you praise. Mighty one of Israel. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Emmanuel 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 Your name is called Emmanuel Your name is called Emmanuel Sing Emmanuel. Emmanuel, the mighty one in the midst of his people, Emmanuel. doing wonders, or inspiring Emmanuel. wonders. Come on, sing it to the miracle walker. Emmanuel. Sing it to the one who can change your life. One more time, lift your voice and sing. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is thank you jesus blessed be the name of the lord help us tonight oh god spirit of the living god we depend on you help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah greet everyone around you god bless you you're welcome Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the faithful God, hallelujah, hallelujah, is the mighty God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what we call it. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what we can say. Jehovah. You are bigger than what we call you. You are greater than what we call you. You are higher than what we call you. You are better than what we call you. Jehovah. You are good. And you are high. 
Jehovah. You are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray tonight and ask the Lord to touch you. Pray that His word will change you. Change us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Good to see everyone. God bless you. Praise God. I want to talk about something very, very important tonight. But first, we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Psalm 71. We'll read this scripture and we'll arise. And I want you to pray your life out in the next five minutes and then we will teach because in this season God is determined that you must be great and no power in existence will stop it Psalm 71 verse 21 Psalm 71 Whether you have a seat or not, I want you to just concentrate because the power of God will touch you. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. That's what will happen to you tonight. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul I will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over my soul ready Psalm 71 verse 21 one to read One more time. One more time. Jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say, Lord, this is your word. You are determined to increase my greatness. It says, Thou shall increase my greatness. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere. You will increase my greatness. You will increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Thou shalt increase my greatness. This is your word for me. I receive it. You receive. You increase my greatness financially you increase my greatness career wise go ahead and prophesy and say lord you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness Oh, you will increase my greatness. I will be higher than I am now. Something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life. You will increase my greatness. Pray. Tonight, God is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season. He said, Thou shalt increase my greatness. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me. Lord, we receive your word as a house. You will increase our greatness. You will increase our greatness. You will increase our greatness. 
you will increase our greatness you will increase our greatness maka parata bosho to praise sete karia tabala dalala hallelujah isaiah 54 shekata tabaka tabala daba isaiah 52 54 Isaiah 54 I'll read verse 1 you read verse 2 and then we'll read verse 3 together sing O barren thou that didst not bear break forth into singing and cry aloud thou who did not travel with child for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife said the Lord verse 2 Are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits i am breaking forth come on prophesy koinonia i am breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit nothing limits me pray inside and outside i'm breaking forth this is the word of the lord i'm breaking forth on the left breaking forth on the right i'm breaking forth 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 in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth we are breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah ezekiel 47 Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy. Mande brandi shalakata. Sike preti shabala daba kanda preti shata. Honestly, I prophesy to you that this is the season that you will begin to break limits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy. I prophesy upon every area of your life. It's time to move to the next level. It's time to move to the next level. Break barriers. Break barriers. Break barriers. Ancestral barriers. Break limitations that came with your lineage. I prophesy to you, rise up. This is your season for your head to be lifted up. This is your season. You will shine like the star. You will shine like the star. Rise up to your destiny. Answer the prophecy of your name. I prophesy to you. Arise. Shine. Your light is come. In this season. Arise. Shake up the dust. Arise. Stop crying. Shine. It's your season to shine. The Gentiles will come to your light. They are kings to the brightness of your rising. I prophesy you are marked for shining. Arise and shine. Somebody is leaving his current level. Let me tell you, listen. I prophesy to you that the level you are now, there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when they saw Saul, they said, Is Saul also a prophet? What suddenly happened? A man who left as a houseboy returned back with an anointing. I pray in the name that is above all names. Those who have laughed at you, this is the season they will see the glory of God arise. Those who have mocked your God, I prophesy, this is the season you will arise. 
those who have said it's impossible may the hand of my God lift you from where you are to where you need to be hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph a man of great destiny was locked up in a pit but the Bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sends for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for joseph tonight my god is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arrive the king is sending for you the king is sending for you hallelujah Ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the Lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for God's people 11 times 11 times I have never had such an experience 11 times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why i came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say lord this is it this is my word i take it i receive it it is my word ezekiel 47 i'll just share this and we'll pray i want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen it says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again the word of the lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over oh the lord will take you higher in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will take you higher in the name of Jesus Christ hold hands with somebody and we're going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting. It's my season of breaking forth. It's my season of life. It's my season of dominion by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shek 
Prophesy. Break it forth in every area of your life. I'm breaking forth spiritually. I'm breaking forth financially. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take one more scripture. Revelation chapter 3. Man take bakata la bakata. Revelation chapter 3. From verse 8. It's projected. Are you ready? One to read. Stop. It says, I know your works. In other words, I have been watching you. Although things are not working, I watch the way you praise me through the pain. It said, I know your works. And as a result, behold, see, I have set before you an open door. It said, no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it hey. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight Pray through more scriptures. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. I'll read verse 1 and 2. And then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart. Isaiah 45. Thus saith the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman. Whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. He says, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now. Verse 3. Shake it, baba, baba. I'm bring the second ever baba. He said, and I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the dead and you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, pray, Koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. 
the last scripture Isaiah 43 Isaiah 43 from verse 16 thank you Jesus are you ready thus saith the Lord which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters how can a man make way in the sea hallelujah Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise. And they are extinct, they are quenched as a weak. Verse 18 is a prophecy to someone. He said, Remember ye not the former things. Forget about the disappointment of yesterday. Forget about who said what. Forget about what did not work. Are you hearing me forget about the result of yesterday forget about what the doctor said he said remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old why verse 19 behold i will do a new thing oh yes he will do a new thing now we shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert i like you to lift your voice and say lord i forget about the failures of yesterday i forget about the failures of yesterday in the name of jesus what the lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray i remember not the disappointment I remember not the failure. Go ahead and prophesy. It's a new season. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Receive it as a prophecy. Hallelujah. May your ears hear it. May your eyes see it. And may your hands handle it. I prophesy one more time. May your ears hear about it. May your eyes see the miracle. And may these hands that are lifted. May these hands handle it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God a shout of praise and be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Once in a while, God gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One of our passions as a ministry, aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures For me, that was the ultimate confirmation that God is a just God. Hallelujah. The Bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism. Whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom earns the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings. And may that be your portion tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. So tonight I want to share with us something. When the Lord gave me the word. That he is increasing and expanding our greatness. I knew at once that my job. 
is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that God is doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You will be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, I want to share a very simple spiritual principle. And I will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it. If you listen, if you if you listen and understand what I will teach tonight, truly your path will be as a shining light. We have prayed, we have spoken the word, but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy. He said, This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy that you war a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness i want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to work it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness the first point i want you to know tonight is that it is god's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is god's desire there are people who do not believe that it is God's desire for them to experience the blessings of God. To rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other. Say it is the desire of God. To see me increase. Hallelujah. But then this, these greater levels that we talk about. Doesn't just come. Just because of prayer or prophecy alone. There are kingdom principles. That we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but i, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards god towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that god himself called one of the names 
of God is faithful. He is not just, he doesn't just have faithfulness. He is faithful. That is the quality of God that makes him trustworthy. It is the faithfulness of God. I remember preaching a message, was it last year or year before last? Faith in the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. To be faithful means to be dependable. It means to be loyal. It means to be trustworthy. Please, I want you to pay attention tonight. This simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next. But tonight as light comes, you will arise in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen, the blessings of God upon a man's life always come in levels. Write it. You must understand this. This is how the kingdom functions. There's no other way. No matter how anointed you are, the blessings of God, the anointing of God, the grace of God comes upon a man's life in levels. Hallelujah. The blessings of God come in levels. Listen, just this, this revelation enough, this one I just told you, is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed. You know, all this sharp, sharp mentality, right? And the youth in Nigeria have this mentality. The average young man is in a hurry. We want to be blessed. We want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah Matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the bible is not a storybook the bible is the wisdom of god and if you follow through especially the teachings of jesus you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom the way the kingdom was supposed to function verse 14 it says for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man all right traveling into a far country and he called his servants three people please three people come you are the servants just stand three people where's the third person just stand face the congregation for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them good look up the bible says they are his servants that means he has been watching them is that true do you agree with me for them to be his servant, it means they had a period of time when they were serving him. And while they served him, he kept watching. And on the strength of his judgment and his findings. Next verse. 
and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor it says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one it says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 he says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20. behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant thou has been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings i gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over what this is jesus teaching he's teaching us how the kingdom works let's see what happened to the third person 24 and he which had received the one talent came look at the guy this is the one talent guy now just, just watch carefully he said lord that's him talking now after a long time of god entrusting him with an anointing after a long time god gave him five members and gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man 
who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finishes oh number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now it says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your team wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sow not and gather where i have not sown what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful it says take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadijat giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sis. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level 
hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you you say it's only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah this is a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh uh unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that god has not lifted you will be fighting god and you will be an enemy of god and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh god but this sister is faithful god you said you should have blessed her and god is saying leave me alone i'm the one who sees the heart of men listen if god does not lift anybody leave them there are you getting what i'm saying many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people you see a man of god and you say after two years your church is still five members abba oh god boy you are anointed you are such a nice brother you greet every sister that comes and god is saying continue talking there i know why i kept five people then you see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and god blesses the person i say god this thing i think we need to coordinate this god is saying who is the lord is somebody learning something tonight say faithfulness say it again faithfulness the blessings of god always come in levels that means whatever level god gives you the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh god when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this my water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he said you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god as a hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay 
join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean god didn't send me that i would do that one no give me something that is charismatic evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene hallelujah and then you will find out that you can be in that church with them god trains you at that season he will build you there is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free god is building you are you getting my point when you prove yourself to be faithful one day god will come to you and say you have been faithful you are always cleaning chairs you are coming early by two o'clock you come nobody knows you but you are cleaning the chairs and as you are cleaning the chairs you are saying oh lord i thank you those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed somebody may look at you and say sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i have must it be so Or when a brother is doing something, he says he's looking for a pastor. The way this guy is doing, his pastor is looking for. Commit yourself to be faithful. I've shared my testimony. Was it in 94 or so? 94, 95. Hallelujah. There used to be a man, a church that started called Power Praise Chapel. The name of the man, I don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there. Emmanuel Amechi Ani. I'll never forget his name. They started the church in a hotel not too far from our house. And they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard. He was part of those who brought somebody. So when the church started, they said I should come and play keyboard. When I came to the church, no choir, no nothing. I would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem Shabi, you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to him i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there 
Pinga. They will play the guitar and she will come and lead worship. I will never forget one day I lashed them. Can you remember? The day I lashed you seriously. Very seriously. They were not serious with their work. And I came that night from, I came from the throne room with such an anointing. And when I came, you know, it's not my fault. Jesus entered the temple. When he saw what was going on in the temple, say, it's the zeal of the Lord. And that day I made sure that I told them before the meeting, they must pray for one hour. Pray in tongues for one hour. Clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear. God has honored her today. I'm saying this. When you see God lifting people, in spite of your criticism, keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing. Bless you, my dear. Are you getting my point now? Say, Lord, I receive grace to be faithful. God gave you an anointing. You can't heal any sick body, but he gave you grace to preach. You have refused to preach. You don't do any evangelism. See, I'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power. Haba, I, I, let, let me shine too. When I pray, let the person fall. How can I be frustrating myself? I'm talking, the guys agree with me. I'm quoting a scripture, he's responding back. Lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference. That's what you want. And God is watching. God is saying, look at, this is the level of grace that I gave you. And this is what you are doing with it. Remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level. That's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit. You can see a man will come and in one year, he has entered some levels. And you have been there for three years. You get the same job in the same office. Other people are eyeing the boss. Shouting there and there. This boss likes women. The other one is saying, Lord, I thank you for the privilege. Although they are paying me 20,000, I know it cannot do anything. I thank you and I'll be faithful. The other one is saying, Weak, wicked boss, you give us 20,000. We are here walking. You are using a phone of 200,000. You are there grumbling and God is watching you. Hallelujah. Do you know God watches your works as you serve, as you are faithful? God gave you a little level. When I started out, I didn't start as anointed as this. It would have been witchcraft if I started like this. Line upon line, faithfulness. I remember when we were very few, those who were around, one day we went for evangelism in Jamaa Hospital. We went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry and you, you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself parking wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the spirit of God led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field i said polo field as if i don't know god you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said god gave us an instruction he said i saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying i said calm down polo field god gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful 
say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business god gave you fifty thousand. you are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the fifty thousand. you bought clothes you bought phone you are shining and you say i'm a kingdom financier god said no way you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but God trusts you with 50,000 and you say Lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and God says you did this for me and then God will test you and say lay down that Isaac and you say Lord it's painful but let it go God will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah God made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this Augusta, this is your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you are you are you getting what i'm sharing tonight it's a very serious message be faithful stop eyeing a high position somewhere be faithful be faithful hallelujah jesus started with a few disciples and then there were so many people then there was a crowd it didn't just start with a crowd financially God wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said Josh in my presence somebody bought a Jaguar a new Jaguar 18 million tear rubber hi I said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own God gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> Especially when you see ladies. You say, come and push this golf out of here now. As if it's not your own. This is what society has made us to become. And God is watching you. Yes, you have to open the door from outside. But give thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. It's better than a bicycle. I glorify you. I'm not ashamed of it. And you get up in the morning. You are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if he cannot carry people he can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful 
I receive grace to be faithful. That's what I, I tell God all the time. This work, this little work that God has given, I, I, I take it. That's why I take my job seriously. Every time you see me, I, I'm in an attitude of seriousness. Not because there is any human being coming to supervise me. I put a sense of urgency. Time to pray. When I'm praying for you, nobody disturbs me. I shut up the place and I'm praying. I say, Lord, you have committed these people. And it's my job to pray. Bless them. Even those who are not tithing, let the tithe of the house cover for them. While they listen to the message. You have not tithed for one year and the heavens are still opening over you. Let me tell you that these, these prayers that we are praying. A day will come, God will shift you out alone. And then you say, so this is how the heavens have been. Faithfulness. God gave you the opportunity to play keyboard. You don't rehearse. You are not serious. You are not improving yourself. You are there angry with anybody who can. See, there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness. We never appreciate what, gives, what God gives us. We always want more. And we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful. Intimidated by people. And we, oh God, I want this. I want this. And many of us get into all kinds of things. That's what has made many men of God to get into witchcraft. The truth is, the honor they want to get is going to come. How many of you know that all of us here will be blessed? We are going to be blessed. The millions will come. A day will come. The things you admire now. See, I used to think I like food. It's a lie. I don't like food. Lack. Everybody say lack. There is, a, there is a way luck can hit you. It will create lust in you. Anything you see, it must finish before you rest. That's what was happening to me. Listen. The things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with God, if you can be faithful, you will walk in it. All these cars, you see, an average young man under pressure, People lie everywhere. Say, I ask them, where are they walking? Say, I'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh, construction. What is the name? I say, it's a construction company. I shuttle Abuja and uh, Zaria. So, what are you doing now? I came to solicit for another job. Is it true? It's a lie. What is pursuing you? Impatience and lack of faithfulness. Whereas you are working in a cafe, that's the construction company. You are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you hallelujah i'm in a cafe now how much do you earn i earn five thousand say you what kind of why are you falling your hand like this no problem say if it's five thousand let me give you your salary for this month and people intimidate you no problem he should carry his money and keep showing everything you just be faithful sister till now you cannot afford a wevon of one five no problem no problem i can plant i'm using my natural hair but i love god and i'm faithful i won't follow any man because of money my god will give it to me one of the miracles god did in my life is that i never this craving this craving for material things that you see somebody and say oh god if you don't take me there no one day i went to buy suit and somebody said this is the fashion in town i said i don't know who are the day i will buy what i want don't put any pressure on me who are the day what fashion where i buy what is good i buy what i like i pay for it if i cannot pay for it i go and wait patiently Many of us, there are shops you cannot pass right now. You have eaten almost one quarter of everything there. Your money is not enough to buy it, but you must buy it. Every time you pass, I want black currants. How much? 600. How much do you have? 59. Say, Just give me. Because we cannot be faithful at this level. Everybody say, I receive grace to be faithful. Re 
refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them when it was time for for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad chested God said no way these are not the kind of people I'm not looking for warriors on the throne I'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that I mean to to lead but when you stand here huh, and you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this coin on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like I'm speaking about myself or it's not me. <laughs> Who asked you? Say I receive grace to be faithful. God wants to increase us financially. But what have you done with the finances that God has given you? You keep wasting money around. Throwing money everywhere. Doing things that do not glorify God. And then you stand and believe. That God is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you. And then you see God bless someone else and you are like, ah, God. I receive grace to be faithful. Lord, I thank you. If it is to sweep, the psalmist said, I, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. A doorkeeper. God is speaking to someone tonight. I want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not tithing but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness he's seen accountability god says you are ready to move higher who is god speaking to tonight You've been unfaithful. God gave you one room. You never cleaned it for once. Everywhere in the room is leaking. Including under the house. You have never said, let me call somebody to smell. He says, is it my property? This BQ, is it my property? And you want God to honor you. You want God to bless you. Hallelujah. Your neighbor always speaks you and brings you for koinonia. You've never said, let me contribute small foil. 2,000 naira. 
you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh-uh you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming saying let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation and god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life i remain a servant serving the house of god forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocols standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi Some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go and say no let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been 
thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, you must sing it from your heart. Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady you don't want to fall your hand that is foolishness of the highest order the person who played the fatherly role of jesus was a carpenter are you getting my point get this childishness out of your life there are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people is better than prostitution it's better than stealing learn dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira it's small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here god told you i will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, god used clothes i have never worn a um these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah i only wear designers why will i now begin to sell used clothes oh lord you are falling my hands and god will say you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but he will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping 
and I said, Lord, will you bless your people? Worship was just playing early in the morning and I was crying. Tears were coming out. I said, Lord, there are people coming tonight with burdens. There are people coming, trusting God. A lady came in from Joss. I'm sure she's around. This lady took a step of faith. Nobody, no place to stay. She just came in. She said, I'm tired of what is happening in my life. How could I come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise? That's why we pray. That's why I take this work that God has given because I know that before I was born, God has been blessing people. And if I'm not serious, he will get me out of the stage. And you see, let me tell you, Dr. Paul and Encher said, it is God who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot. When the pot thinks I'm the only one, God will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water. Never find yourself thinking God cannot do without you. That is a big deception. Oh, God can do without Joshua Selman. God forbid if I die today, ah yes, you will cry for one week. You say, why did he die? You go and listen to all my messages that I say I wouldn't die. He said, oh, he has died. After one week, case closed. You will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and I, by the time you finish the fight something will... <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised you want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding fault contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days god is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches Oh, 26 branches. The man of God now has a television. Ah, ah. My one desire is that you be praised. Is that you be praised. Is that you be praised. God is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace. But you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm 
then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that god can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because god will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes i worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 kaba shata baladaba is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them math you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir 
he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and uh, xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has given, has brought me receive grace oh god jordan please stand up come I know when oh god listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan worked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient Brothers, the shoe you cannot buy now. The dress you cannot buy now. Be patient. That's the second reason why people, the second enemy of faithfulness, impatience. I always preach and I say impatience has cheated many people. Many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried Listen, many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you 
God is leading you and say, invite one brother in your fellowship that God is helping. Say, ah, which kind of brother? I once the one that the, the posters. Very funny things people do. There are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of God that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them. They just want a name. I brought ABC. I brought XYZ. Now you go and bring a man from London, Matthew Ashimolo, in your small church of 100 people. And now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know So desire brothers and sisters is available in Christ it's a reality in the realm of the spirit but there are systems in the kingdom that can capture that reality and make it your experience here and now that reality does not bless you for as long as it remains in the realm of the spirit your prayer and your desire is that the word becomes flesh so that it dwells among us then we can behold the glory for as long as it is still in the realm of the spirit it doesn't profit you what good is it if you keep having dreams and see yourself rising and then it never manifests open doors in the dreams close doors in your experience lifting in the spirit or whatever visions you're having but in the physical nothing seems to happen the bible says if thou wouldest believe you would think this is a very little expression if you will believe truly it says you will see my god that means i can stand here desiring a lot of things in my life and god is saying all those things that look far you can the word see here does not just mean view it uh -uh. it means capture it let it be your experience if you will believe believe and second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20 guides us on the dimensions of believing second chronicles 20 20 and here's what he says jehoshaphat stood and said hear me o judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem two believings here the first belief notice is a big b believe in the lord your god that's the first dimension of your believing believe in the lord your god to believe in the lord does not just mean to agree that he's alive mm -mm. to believe in the lord your god number one means to be convinced and convicted about who god really is and what he's able to do you don't just sit down and casually believe Believe is a product of, of a contemplation that happens in your spirit. By the way, let me advise you, for a very long time, we preachers have been telling people that believing just happens in your spirit. Believing must happen in your spirit, your mind, and your body. The entire tripartite nature of man is involved in believing. I guarantee you, believe alone with your spirit, you will never get anything. 
your mind needs to get to that state too your body needs to participate it's a well-meaning teaching but it's not a complete teaching you believe god spirit soul and body because your entire tripartite nature has a role to play in the manifestation of the promises of god for you believe in the lord your god notice it didn't say believe in jesus in fact it didn't say believe in god believe in the lord when the bible uses the word lord is a very interesting expression because the, the word lord there means is, is from the word adon it means master it means owner it means manipulator are we together yes believe in the lord your god get to a point by the spirit where you are convinced that he's not scamming you get to a point where you are convinced it's a point of unbendable persuasion that you believe that if god says he's going to change my family truly he will it's amazing how many action movies we act in church you will think we really believe god but we don't some of you as you are seated right now if i ask you do you believe god can change your life you will say yes just because your head was nodding up and down doesn't mean you believe are we together now it's a revelation man of god do you believe in the anointing yes i believe but it's not true because it's not showing the bible says if you believe you will see that means if you are not seeing there is something wrong with that believing are you getting what i'm saying you have to find a way of believing this conviction conviction that the spirit brings that you have gotten to a point of unbendable persuasion that everything god has said concerning my life now regardless of whether that experience listen you don't believe it when it manifests it should be obvious when it manifests you believe it to make it happen not because it has happened it is your faith that will transport that reality from the realm of the spirit i sit down and just tell you oh someone is going to shout for instance under the anointing that's a stupid thing what if it doesn't happen so what is the what what gives that audacity is suicidal for a man of god your, your reputation and your ministry is at stake you don't get up and just start speaking and saying things and talking nonsense i hope you know if it doesn't happen people will say you see this is how proud people end but there is a level of conviction conviction are we together now if i tell you sam to walk and come to me it is because you trust your legs are we together if i ask someone on a wheelchair to stand up and walk to me that person does not trust his legs yet because of the obvious situation so he won't stand up and he would try but if i ask you to come now you are not you don't have any experience with your legs that should disturb you you must get to that point of persuasion you see god is not a politician god was not voted into power it's not like there is somebody that supervises him in heaven he does not have a disciplinarian nobody rebukes him listen carefully we're talking about the god of the universe we're not talking about the god of christians we're talking about the god of all flesh god is not a christian he is the father of lights the owner it belongs to him god will not come on earth and go to the camp of christians the whole earth is his own whether you believe in him or not you face the consequence of fighting the creator but he is the god of all flesh has thou not heard has thou not seen the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth he doesn't sleep he doesn't get tired doesn't get weary so when that god looks at you with the same power of creation and says i want to change your life then we now sit down and say oh god that's exactly what my director told me and god said you have brought me in the same category with your director who is only 45 years old you know how old i am go and find out 
if age gives ability god still qualifies to be god even if it's just by age let's assume that the older you are the more powerful you are god is still god by that reference believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god get to a point of persuasion and say lord based on my calculation it will take five years for my family to get this miracle but there's something i know about you that when you decide to rend the heavens and step over a man's situation one month becomes too much you see listen as you are hearing what i'm saying you are saying amen but something within me is saying you are not apostle don't make a fool out of yourself are we together now if a jimmy is a landlord of an estate and you are trusting god to save 30 million to buy a house and he looks at you and assuming you didn't know he was a landlord he just says kai i want to bless you and someone just whispers to you and say that's the landlord the awareness that is a landlord does something you say ah sir good afternoon I, i'm not even because you are aware something just opened you up to the potentials in him that he can compress a 10 years journey in a moment this is the god i serve the bible says the word of god is quick shout quick not slow it may look slow until god decides to shake himself and say now let me lift kenny now let me lift this and you are surprised even you the benefactor there are sides to the equation of greatness no man can explain it's a mystery you just know i prayed i did this from a to b to c i don't know what happened there i just know that a finger manipulated this are we together believe in the lord many believers don't believe god many believers it has to be in this order believe in the lord your god believe what about him believe that he is god you can believe he's a deity that's not the information required for your greatness you can believe that he's not a man satan too is not a man many other spirits too are not men so there's nothing special about believing that he's not a man you must believe that he's the mighty god and you must believe in his ability i don't know how to make you see this look let me tell you when you focus on god and who he is and his might you will turn back and see the possibility of your situation shrinking before him and then you will be brought to a point where you will agree lord you can change my life i believe lord you can wipe my tears there are many faithless people just because they are holding their bibles and speaking what is written there they think they believe no it's a conviction lord i trust you lord i believe you that's why he left us the word of god to help us believe him the word of god is a commitment from god to you is 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 a manifesto is to give you room to vet him that means if you have any fears as to why you should not believe him he still leaves the word are we together believe in the lord your god by doing so you shall be established so he says be convinced and convicted about who god is and what he's able to do second timothy chapter 1 and verse 2 says but i know whom i have believed he says i am persuaded that he is able i am persuaded that he is able hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 says for without faith it is impossible to please god listen he says for he that cometh to god like you have come now it says you must come believing that he exists and then that he's a rewarder let me see how many of you came from far if you came from far let me see your hands how many of you honestly had quite a stressful journey coming now do you think please drop your hands thank you do you think 
that God will watch you live wherever you heard the, someone came from Ghana someone came from Maiduguri so within and outside this nation people coming there are many people connecting from around the world do you believe if you were God will you sit on your throne and watch someone almost have an accident and for 12 hours come and sit down some of you have been here probably since 12 in the afternoon or two or three and then as God you sit down and then say okay share the grace may God bless you I don't know the God you gave your life to but the one I gave my life to is a serious God it's a very serious God we are used to people playing games with our lives God is not just a trustworthy God he is too serious that he gave his son to die and then he will play games with your life no sir he's a rewarder he's a rewarder let me tell you something you've heard me say it if you ever find yourself coming here to koinonia that you are right here safely alone is a sign that half of your challenges have gone um, now uh, you would think i'm saying it just because i'm the man of god here you decide to come here and see the attacks that will arise money that you are saving will disappear all of a sudden up every to some of you the morning to come you are not even yet sure whether you will come is a spirit believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god sister believe in the lord your god my brother believe in the lord your god concerning your admission believe in the lord your god concerning the baby i know it's five years but believe in the lord your god believe concerning god turning your life around you need more than a job you need breakthrough you need favor if you get a job of fifty thousand, you are still backward because you should have been working for the past 10 years so now the issue is not just a job of 50 or 100 thousand that god can you shift my what would have been the backlog of the past shift my 10 years to enter my september and wait for me there that i can enter september and I, I, it will look as if september is 10 years put together one of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time read your bible and see what god did with time when it was time to visit people he made the sun to stand still he made the sun to go backward are we together he did something to time when you lose time you have lost everything believe in the lord your god number two please let's go back to um, second chronicles he said believe in his prophets listen carefully his prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies. His prophets here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake. That means someone who is real. That's not what he's talking about. He said, believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. To prosper means to do well. He says, believe his prophets his prophets are not just people who prophesy his prophets are not just real men of god <clears throat> listen carefully this is where we miss it you must learn this his prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of god it has nothing to do with maybe someone being real his prophets here means the person sent to you listen listen the bible um, come Sam come darling look at this I'm Elijah and I'm going to the house of a widow of Zarephath are we together don't you think on my way going I'm going to meet other people who have problems so I meet a gentleman who has a problem and I just greet him how are you where is the house of the widow of Zarephath he's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because I'm not sent to him I'm a prophet I probably met other widows. Elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said, Oh dear, you mean it? You mean this is how your life is? Sorry, eh? And he kept going. 
the same way jesus saw 10 lepers the same way jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go there is a man sent to you there is an anointing sent to you listen i know that many people would not like me for what i'm telling you not every anointing can bless you generally speaking by opening your heart i mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny it's true hear what i'm telling you and then god will bless you there is an anointing a portion there is a grace designated let me tell you happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you do you know let me tell you this and i tell you this honestly my heart is passionate when it has to do with blessing people but i have met people in my life that i just prayed for them just for praying sake but i knew in my spirit i wasn't sent to them of course you won't tell them so they don't feel bad but you know but i've seen others i could even wait for them to share their challenges because i know i know the anointing sent to you so believe his prophets are we together there were many widows in zarephath elijah was looking for just one haba prophet what of other women <clears throat> i love them i can pray i can intercede may god bless you do a b and c but i'm looking for a woman of zarephath where is she finally you find her and his clash is not even ready for you she's doing something else the prophet would have been angry to say i spent time to come here you don't even know what you are missing i'm on my way going but because he was sent he had to stay his assignment was to change her life when you find the anointing and the prophet that god has sent over your life and your situation let me tell you you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the as if satan does not exist it's it's not just this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say the most important thing is god yes you are right but you are wrong the most anointing is anointing what is there what is so special about this man of god this is what i'm teaching you now people are sent to people even the word of god is sent he sent his word like a messenger meaning until that word is sent you can stay there but when the word comes like a messenger angel gabriel left other believers around earth and was directed to one person daniel all that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies he would have been angry to say i'm going to someone else mm -mm. he said daniel i am come to give you understanding are you the only one i am come to give you understanding jesus is appearing by the road saul is on his way to damascus brothers and sisters the bible says there were other people with saul god would have been fair enough to at least give them something and then he isolates one person and discusses with the person the rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down they just got up to clean themselves and say kai now what is all this one now whereas one person has that encounter sent 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 the word that changes my life sent i have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets and my god did my life change tonight let me tell you if you can believe this he said believe his prophets i know you are a businessman i know you are educated i know you are smart but there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper they are solved from the realm of the spirit it's only the result you receive here are we together now believe in his prophets so shall you prosper write this down please his prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you you must first acknowledge 
that this vessel is sent from God to you. And one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet God has sent to you is investigate the dealings of God with that man. Don't just believe for nothing. You have a right to investigate the dealings of God with that man. What is so special about this man? Why should I believe him? Why should I take the word that he's bringing seriously? Every true prophet of God has a track record of his dealings with God. Investigate the dealings of God. Study the track records of his results. I think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that. No. Give them room to study the track records of your results and find out whether the results are worth your believing. How do you believe his prophets? Open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions. Don't just receive the grace alone. Instructions. Many times believers miss it because we miss instructions. Very subtle instructions. Sometimes very ego stinging instructions. Like you were seated here now and then I just said everybody shout Jesus. You know, I don't mean to embarrass your intelligence. You don't sit on a seat and shout Jesus. You've been singing a song before you came here. You, there was Jesus more than 10 times in that song. You kept shouting Jesus, Jesus, lover of my soul. And nothing happened. And here you are sitting and a man is saying just shout Jesus once. If you don't have this revelation, you can sit down and say, please, what is, we are not children here. What is all this nonsense? He told Naaman, go to Jordan. Watch seven times. Naaman said, me? Jordan. There are clean rivers somewhere. And the small girl said, you are the one in trouble. If you don't go and wash, you can go back with your lepros. Two scriptures, and then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 31. and Israel saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians it says and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and also what his servant Moses God performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed God also wants the vessel he's using to be believed. The Bible says they feared the Lord. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. You believe the Lord, you don't believe his servant, you may not get any miracle. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, Look up, please. Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. That means I can talk to you without the cloud, but I keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to. I'm, I'm going that far because I don't just want the people to believe me alone. I want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their both their believing me, God, and their believing you, his servant. He says, and the Lord said, I come in a thick cloud. So sometimes when God does some of these signs and wonders, it's, it's not really just for him alone. When God does some of these things, oh, there's a lady here and someone is shouting. Another, you know what God is doing? He's using those things. It's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see. You can call somebody and say, who is grace or who is um, victory? And you can say, this is just guessing. I'm sure it's just guessing. But how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one? God does some of these things sometimes 
purposely to just address the the leftover of unbelief because you see some of us are coming from different christian experiences some of us have been our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology all kinds of philosophies some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of god prophets and whatever and chances are that when you come like this usually you would just add the man of god to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them and god says not so and he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in mount zion are we together it's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your unbelief immediately readjust your unbelief while the devil is trying to lie to you can your life be changed all of a sudden the the power will touch the person near you this somebody you shook hands with turn to your neighbor and say this and that so you know that the person uh, the person can be acting It's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God. But I think it's even harder to believe a man of God. And people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God. But regardless of what your justifications are, if you believe God and don't believe the vessel, you will be established but you will not prosper. Are we together? Your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment. You must believe one word from God can turn your life around one prophetic word can turn your life around all these strange spirits that oppress people they don't just go because they are told to go no it takes the anointing I was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we were coming down here and I told him I was shaking my head and then I was talking to him and I said I am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now i said i am amazed at how people in africa and nigeria trivialize success i am shocked at how people um believe that success is about luck it's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like i think these people are just fortunate is that true I, I, this were my contemplations while I was coming listen there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake now including the testimony you are about to have that gentleman from Ghana he did not just press this thing and found my name no 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 the anointing that is sent with that word works day or night are we together now there are many testimonies just like his that gentleman you see that now someone will tell you i was sitting and i had a dream how about those who buy new phones brand new phones brand new phones and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside how do you explain that A new phone not new uh, what they call that thing not new memory card I'm not talking about new memory card a new phone that you bought it tear rubber you are the one who opened it then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question who, who now who, how do you explain that listen listen we live in a world that is not natural it only manifests the spiritual naturally the, the 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 earlier you got this the better my brothers and my sisters hear me all that you see in this world is only a reflection say reflection the real control room in this our world is the realm of the spirit whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory nothing happens that is physical are we together one of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight among the many miracles we desire is finance oh nigerians finance you want to talk a good news to any honest nigerian right now in this day and age as we transit into the ember month no matter speak about their spiritual life yes speak about their love for god passion new depths but please don't ignore 
that other one just even if he's in passing just say something about it finance many people want to see financial breakthrough many people are working and they are trusting god for breakthrough and remember the strange thing about finance do you know why listen i'm not talking about money we're going to pray shortly do you know why many believers are poor because in the kingdom finance is warfare money is not just an instrument to live well it's a weapon see listen oh dear what's it ecclesiastes 7 let me just talk a little you was uh I, I didn't plan to say this but ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 let me show you something may god give somebody deliverance right now read it read it one to read for wisdom is a defense uh-huh and money is a defense just stop there so we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense now look up when the bible says you have a weapon what is a weapon something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack is that true if you give me a weapon like a shield i use it for defense and the bible says one of the many weapons money is one of them and the bible says those weapons are not carnal the word not carnal means they are not man-made but my brother my sister this thing is man-made it was made by cbn that means this is not what god is talking about because this is man-made but the bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal he said it is mighty through god that means there is a spirit are you getting what i'm saying that means this thing is only the body the same way a human being is called currency anything that moves is a living thing and that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it you are only seeing the body where is the spirit that moves it that's why it can enter a house you didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself it can enter your account and still go out because it's warfare the bible says, believe is prophets there is something they can do that can do something to the many things including this this is what we chase all around because we think this is paper no this is not this is paper yes but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit this is what you need to understand so the spirit can instruct it to leave you and it can leave no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will you know it's going is going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses money is a defense it can defend the gospel it can defend a man and the bible says all those weapons they are not carnal So if you ever see this looking for anybody, Naira does not look for men. Something makes it come. I, please, are you getting what I'm saying? If you can understand this alone, at least even if you don't know how it comes, you already know that it doesn't come by itself. These are the mysteries that surround our kingdom. You ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom? My brothers and my sisters, listen to me. This is a spiritual realm. You don't have to be a Christian to believe it. You just have to be alive. This is a spiritual realm. Animals know it. Plants know it's a spiritual realm. That's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it. You don't leave it open you cover it because what happens there is none of your business now you just cover it and watch it happen and it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down a little seed 
when you planted it it had no roots the bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how a woman how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child you know and all of that so also you don't know the way of god the lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities listen that are beyond the realm of the eyes are we together most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we are sending you to us to get a job Hapa, my brothers and my sisters i've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who i need whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal that you're sitting and someone says i'm thinking of you who do you think you are no i want to help you i want to bless you you step into prepared blessings blessings that you are as sure he said master we have toiled all night and jesus looked at them you know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net then you quickly pull it in the morning that's how you were trained but let me show you another technology cast your net to the right side master but we only have left and right <clears throat> this one is not brain work now this one is not one plus one i told you one plus one plus god is equal to whatever he says the answer should be one plus one is two but one plus one plus god is not equal to two it's not even equal to ten thousand is equal to any answer that god puts there so one plus one can be equal infinity god said so are we together now i'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that god is able to do anything at all when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the holy spirit worked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a god in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters i present to you this same god who can change your life who will change your life i'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others wow this is how god has changed this lady's life wow we are soon going to pray you must have a desperation and say lord i didn't come tonight to clap for anybody i left my journey wherever lord i know that you will visit me and i hold on to the horns of the altar while you are sitting the devil is telling you remember tomorrow by 12 your rent or embarrassment say satan go away and before the presence of god tomorrow is too far god can how many minutes does it take to do a transfer i believe him yes i do i believe him i believe him i believe him i believe he can change my life in one minute i want you to just mention everything you are trusting god to do tonight go ahead Lord, I believe you for this. I believe you for that. Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. Any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil. It's a Luciferian spirit. Let your spirit and let your attention be open. Yes, Lord, I believe you. Mention it. Don't say it's too big. That's the devil. Too big compared to what? Pray, believers. 
Lord, I know you are able. You are able to take away this reproach from this family. Talk to Jesus. Even if you find yourself crying, just continue to speak. Lord, you are able. Change this situation. Turn my academics around. Lord, turn my finances around. Lord, I'm in a situation right now where only you, the God of heaven, can arise. Turn my ministry around. Lord, I'm confused. I don't even know where to go right now. I don't know whether to go to the left or to the right, but I receive grace. Pray. Are you praying? Kill unbelief as you are praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. God of heaven. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving. It says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, I'm here tonight because I want you to turn the situation of my family around. Lord, there is a death sentence over my family, and you have to arise for me tonight. Lord, there is a death sentence over my life. Lord, I've been delayed 10 years of my life. I am backward 10 years. There has to be a way you restore me, oh God. Lord, I'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb. The gentleman who came here, seven children lost, including twins. Lord, I'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life. Something has happened to the anointing upon my life. Something has happened to the glory upon my destiny. I'm here tonight, oh God, turn my life around. Turn my life around something has happened the signs and wonders are no more like before the revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before i'm here for a turnaround oh god my prayer life has died i'm here for a reawakening i no longer fast i no longer pray i don't know what has happened to me i cry for help One more prayer point Lord I believe you and I believe your servant I believe that anointing and I believe in its ability to turn my life around walk on any unbelief in my heart oh God and take it out tonight go ahead and pray every spirit of doubt every spirit of fear
Isaiah 61. Please participate in everything we are doing. It's going to be a very fast one, but let your spirit be open. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord, the same Lord that you are instructed to believe, hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Now listen, this is why he anointed me, because there is an agenda. But that that agenda cannot be achieved just by a well-meaning heart. It takes more than sincerity to bind up a broken heart. To proclaim liberty. Now I like this one. To proclaim. To declare that the time has come for you to walk free. It says, and the opening of prison. My brothers and my sisters, there can be men physically walking, but they are in prison. Next verse. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It takes more than a handkerchief to comfort men. It takes the anointing. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Now this is the part I like. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees or oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified so the end of it is for god to be glorified but not in the current state no so anything in your family make sure you carry your family along in this miracle service don't just stand alone to receive I've told you if you are blessed and your family members are not blessed, you are not free. You are not free at all. If you are the only one who is alive and everybody is just dying like a chicken, you are still not free. Are we together now? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let me give us one last prayer point. Father, every desire I brought here tonight, I'm not walking back with it. Lift your voice and pray. Every. Let your faith rise as you pray. Shalakata barakato. Talato shabra hasikete malakata. Shakata kata barakata barateke teberekos. Every desire. Visit me, O oh God, completely. The God who touches my spiritual life can touch my finances too. The God who touches my body can touch my womb too. Lord, I insist. I insist for completeness.
praise the Lord. Please lift your hands. I will pray now. Now, the people I'm going to ask to come out, if the anointing comes upon your life right now, then the Lord... Okay. I want to pray a prayer now. Please be your brother's keeper. Whether you are inside or outside, it's because of what will happen when I pray. The anointing will come and people will act out what I'm saying physically. That's why I'm saying you should. You should just hold them. Are we together now? The Lord is asking me to release speed. Listen, speed is a very powerful thing. When that anointing comes, you will start running like Elijah. That's why I'm saying hold them. Right now, I stretch my hands inside outside online and i declare spirit of the living god there are men and women here who have been delayed and speed must come upon them right now i declare at the count of three one two three receive that grace i command speed speed right now speed let the hand of god come upon you the bible says the hand of the lord was upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I command speed, receive it. It's coming on you now. Some of you is coming on you for the sake of your family. It's not just you alone. It's coming on you for the sake of your family. Let the chains be broken. I release speed. Speed. In one month. In one month. I'm prophesying that in one month. What has not been done in five years? In one month, receive that grace. I energize your spirit, man. Speed. When speed comes upon a family, you will see it in the result. When speed comes upon your spiritual life, when speed comes upon your academics, I'm praying again. The angels that ride upon the chariots are bringing you speed. I release that grace. Let that anointing come upon you. Speed, speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed. Now, now listen. Fire in the spirit has many significance. Fire, this fire is a mystery. It was a reality borrowed from the realm of the spirit that we use here. Fire does not run away from any element. Fire is the only thing that all other elements must fit. Whether you put metal, the metal will be hot. Wood will be burnt rubber will be melted there is nothing that stands fire other things can stand water but not fire are we together now he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire when the holy spirit listen is moving to break chains he moves as fire do you know why because fire destroys every other thing Yet it is not destroyed. It is not solid. It is not liquid. Are we together? It looks like gas, but it's there. You are seeing it. You can't hold it. You can't cage fire. You can't lock it up. It's not restrained by anything. The Holy Ghost is going to move right now in this place as fire. Listen. This fire, I want you to bring those people out. This fire you see, will bring an end now believe me when i tell you this will bring an end to many captivities many captivities at the count of three i just want you to shout with me that word fire that word fire and many of you will be surprised in the name of jesus where sam there's a song in my spirit when we sing that song 
what's the name of that song blow 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 like a mighty wind am i correct so you know what i'm talking about so you sing that song by the time we pray in the name of jesus i'm stretching my hands right now spirit of the lord you seek to reveal yourself as fire that consuming fire no power and no spirit even spirits can be burnt by fire in the name of jesus i declare that any operation that is not of god at the count of three by the mystery of the holy ghost as fire let there be deliverance let there be refining let there be the breaking of chains are you ready now one two three bring them out fire the mystery of fire I declare any chain if there is anyone under the sound of my voice and any chain has held your destiny by the mystery of this fire I'm speaking by this apostolic and prophetic grace I decree and declare to the heavens at the count of three may that fire locate chains in this place now one two three chains be broken chains be broken Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Sing below, blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Cover us with your wings. Hallelujah, Madam. Please clear the way for me. This woman, tap this woman for me. One, two, and the other person, three. Please come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. You are welcome. Your first time here? I came here last week. Okay, you were here last week and you too. Um, is, this the, is this the mama I asked to come? I think it's someone else I saw, but when you are here, we'll honor you. But I want to pray for you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing witchcraft in your life and your family. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, man. Look at me. I know you believe in the power of God. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end every oppression of darkness. Mama, I decree and declare, in one month, your life will turn around it to surprise you. In one month. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Where is that man that came from my Duguri? The one who came to give a testimony. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the oppression is over. Look, I'm seeing fire. is leaving my hands and it's coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is that man? We have to hurry up. There's, there's a lot to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I decree and declare over your life. That fire. The Lord, it looks like you are an elderly woman, but the Lord is going to use you mightily. What you are receiving now is not just a miracle yet. You are receiving an impartation. You will begin to know the Holy Spirit in a very intimate way. Hold my hand. Spirit of the living God, you seek to use this dear mother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will know the Holy Spirit in supernatural ways. His fire will come upon your life and he will use you in a very mighty way. In the name of Jesus, come. You are the man that came from Eduguri. What is this? My CV. Your CV. You are trusting God for a job. And who is this? Hold it. Do you believe that if I pray for you, you are returning with a job? You believe that? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing upon you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let there be that miracle. You go and return with your job, sir. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare that the oppression of darkness comes to an end. A complete end over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray right now, but let me just... Um, the Lord is showing me, oh dear, sometimes this time, time, time just affects you. But I'm praying right now and I'm seeing letters and I'm seeing on the letter, congratulations, listen. And I'm seeing that this is a symbolism of breakthrough. Listen, let me tell you, except God is not God. If this anointing that I'm seeing touches you, then you and your family must stand here and testify. I'm stretching my hands right now. Lord, you are showing me this. In the name of Jesus, this is a symbol of breakthrough. I stretch my hands. Every family and every person that must receive of this grace, I'm stretching my hands now. You must testify. I release upon you that grace you must testify I declare whatever it will translate to whether a job whether increase whether promotion I command it I declare it I decree it. in the name of Jesus I command it I decree it I declare it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hold the hands of this lady this one hold the hands of this lady in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands right now and I declare it's time for your family to rise I'm speaking it by the spirit of prophecy and I decree and declare every embargo that holds on to that family I command that is gone now in the name of Jesus it is gone I curse the power of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity and there are many of you there is no grace on the works of your hands I look and in the spirit I don't see the blessing of the Lord working that's what is responsible for hardship it's not like you are not employed or you are not doing this, but in the name of Jesus, I stand representing the Spirit of God and I stretch my hands back to you. 
I'm declaring still that ministry of fire. Many of you will be surprised. Whatever it is you are involved in, God is about to bring grace upon it. I stretch my hands right now at the count of three. May the fire of God come through your hands into your life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever has not been working in your life, I force it to work right now. Receive that anointing. I force it to work now. Inside, outside, I force it to work now. Those following online, I pray and I speak whatever it is that you are doing. I declare the blessing. I activate the blessing upon the work of your hand. I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yabone nakawo Sujata ne nakawo Sarkin salama Sarkin aljana Yabone nakawo the lord is opening the eyes of people into where your blessing is i'm seeing fire still this fire thing coming on the eyes of people physically you will feel fire burning and ideas the lord is birthing things is is a birthing in the spirit i release that grace right now in the name of jesus lord all those who must see show them oh god where their blessings are stationed so that they stop dilly-dallying around life i decree and declare receive that grace the grace of an open eye the grace of an open vision may the lord show you where the resources of your destiny is may the lord show you where your helpers are in the name of jesus christ hallelujah this the prayer is for everybody eh? but this particular prayer now is for ladies the Lord is showing me destinies that must be changed outwardly you are beautiful you are good looking you are virtuous you are wonderful but in the realm of the spirit is not what we are seeing physically that we are seeing in this in the realm of the spirit a man with an ugly situation sat down at a gate called beautiful the gate was beautiful but the man's life was nonsense there are many people you can stand i'm, I'm saying everybody but this is specifically for our sisters and it's not just the issue of marriage i'm not talking about marriage alone that there is a fragrance, a presence that can ooze from you and bring favor to your life. But many of you physically, they look at you and you look like you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. But in the realm of the spirit, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That, that force, that veil must be torn. In the name of Jesus, ah, I'm seeing a strange grace that is coming on many people, especially our sisters. I declare any wrong identity that you are given in the realm of the spirit that is not a reflection of your true identity, any exchange that has been made in the realm of the spirit so that physically you should be blessed, but in the realm of the spirit you are carrying another person's destiny right now by the fire of the holy ghost sisters may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now i declare anyone's destiny here that has been changed and switched and manipulated in the realm of the spirit so that what you look like is not a reflection of what your destiny is i change it now in the name of jesus 
I change it now in the name of Jesus. Listen. A man's destiny can be exchanged. It's true. Have you not read in the Bible where kings slaughtered their children to prolong their own lives? A man's destiny can be a shadow of something else. You know you are alive, but this is not your life. You know that you are living another person's script. I'm saying it again. In the name that is above all names. Sir, come. I don't know you, but I want to pray for you, sir. God is going to turn your life around. And you see this prayer that I'm saying generally, this prayer, sir, is for you. You are a shadow of your life. Of your is your dad. Where did he come from? From high there. From where? Hi, From high in there. Daddy, I'm going to pray for you. This is not just about your leg. Huh? This is about your destiny. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare. In the name of Jesus, anyone who has exchanged your destiny, sir, I decree and declare restoration now. You are the daughter, hold my hands, I pray for you. Look at me. You are a wonderful lady, huh? But bad things continue to happen in your life, huh? You are a nice lady. Are you married? I'm married, but we're divorced. Don't worry. I know why I'm saying. You get what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. Because what I'm seeing, this is a spirit. You are a nice lady, but people continue to misunderstand you. Yes, sir. Yes, Good sir. things, and people look at you. In the eye of many people now, you are, you are a devil. You are a terrible lady, yes, but it's sir. not true. Yes. You have a very beautiful heart. This is what happens when... Do you know that there are spirits that make sure you are misrepresented in the eyes of people. A ministry can be under this captivity. No matter, the Bible said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. You can be nice to somebody like it's happening to many of you. And people end up fighting you. You bought something for them. And they end up, you are saying, what is this? I pray for you and the person says, so you are trying to say I'm the one who is not spiritual. It's a spirit. My dear, I want to pray for you. Eh? This thing is not just about your marriage that is, you know, things have gone wrong. You are a wonderful lady. Eh? Favor will come close to you, but then never enter your life. Yes, sir. Yes, what do sir. you do? I'm working in a security. You are a security? Yes, sir. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. I'm running my master's. You are running your master's? Yes, sir. My dear, do you believe God can change your life yes, now? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Hold my hands. To appoint unto them. You see that? To appoint. This one is a prophet's reward. It's not just that God is saying, do this. There is something in the spirit called a prophet's reward. The possibilities that accompany an office, I declare in the name of the God of heaven whom I represent, may your life change this night in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I lift you from this security work you are doing and I put you in a position that befits your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Daddy sir, I'm praying for your daughter in your presence. This lady will come here and give a testimony that even you as a father will say this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together now? I declare it, I decree it done right now. Hear me? I don't care whether you are working or not. If you are not in the rightful place as ordained by God, I want to pray a very serious prayer because there are people, the work you are doing is a nonsense work. That work is, it has robbed your spiritual life. It has destroyed your relationships. 
because of that work no man can see you to marry you demonic work that closes you everywhere i decree and declare i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace if you are in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny i take you out of that place and i shift you to the place of destiny i shift i shift you in the spirit i shift you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen if the widow of Zarephath was not where the prophet met her that's how her miracle would have gone it matters that you are in the right place at the time god sends your miracle some of these things in the name of employment they are traps of the devil i'm not saying it's not good to work don't get me wrong but many of them are traps from the peace of hell there are people whose spiritual lives have gone down from heaven to earth simply in the name of job are we together nonsense job that on sunday you're on your way going to church your boss calls you and says you must come and resume what shall it profit a man if you gain the what is it is that the whole world how much is the salary lose your soul for peanuts i declare again in the name of jesus may my god relocate someone here by the power of the holy spirit may my god relocate a destiny relocate a family if you are not in your assigned place i shift you tonight in the name of jesus christ Do you know, listen, we are going to pray for the sick shortly. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, he will make sure they get visa. Ah, Pastor Jay, it's good to see you. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, they will get visa to UK. They think it's breakthrough, but they have gone away from their place of destiny. God spoke to Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah entered a boat on his way to Tarsus. And because of that wrong journey, people lost their properties. People lost. He entered a boat and made people to start destroying their lives. They were almost dying because a man was not in sync with seasons. Let me tell you this. It matters that God meets you at the place where your blessing is waiting for you. The devil can relocate people and, and destroy your life. There are many Nigerians outside this country whose destiny is ordained by God to be in this country. You see them roaming around like armed robbers around the world in the name of abroad. And there are others whose destinies are abroad and the devil will make sure that he will peg them somewhere. And Isaac sowed in that land. It's not just that he sowed. The place he sowed matters. Isaac sowed in that land. Abraham, take now thy son and go. Go to a location. That's where I will meet with you. God is everywhere. But destiny does not meet with men everywhere. You must have the discernment to understand your season of visitation. I repeat this. You see me speaking like this. I'm speaking by the Spirit. There are some of you, it's an instruction from God to you. Don't be careless about your life. Look at how many Nigerians, you go to embassies and see Nigerians, they want to go abroad by fire, by force. Ask them why. They will say greener pastures. I've told you, greener pastures is not in any physical location on earth. Greener pastures is in the world. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Not when you went. Jesus instructed them and said, Do not go. Go only to the lost tribe of Israel. Don't go outside that camp. Because salvation was for the Jews first. If they went to the Gentiles, they would have received a root shock. Direction. Direction. Please, in one minute before we pray for the sick, lift your voice and say, Lord, direct me. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. Direct me. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, unto a woman, unto a family. Direction.
your blessing is not just generically in US or UK. There are people suffering in every nation. It takes the leadership of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, two things we are going to do very quickly. And I know you have been doing this, but please, I want to plead with you to do it with understanding. Most times we do things in this kingdom without understanding. That's why we are not blessed. Are we together? We are going to pray for the sick now. Don't walk out here if you expect to walk back the same way. Come here convincing, knowing that God is going to touch you. And while we are doing that, um, your prayer, if you don't have your prayer request, please write it quickly. Write it quickly. And in case your faith, you came here with a faith that is weak, you did write some vital things, you can add it quickly. Those online, you can send, you can send your prayer request very quickly. Now, we are going to do this very fast because our time is gone. Thank God Pastor Jakes is here. Are we together now? Overflow. Listen, let's not be rowdy. Overflow one outside will walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, you also walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand. Those who are in here, you are trusting God to touch you, to touch your family members. You can make your way and come and stand orderly in front here now. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's do that very quickly. While we are doing that, please, if you have written your prayer request, I want you to wave it. And ushers, you may find a way of splitting yourself very quickly. Let's, let's have ushers. If the ushers are not in our PR department, you can join them. And then let's make it very fast. Make sure everyone's request um, is obtained, please. For those online, I want you to believe by faith. If you are still here to write, just write it. Ushers, please. There are hands all around. Let's help out. Protocol can also help so that we'll make sure that everyone's request. If it's a text on your phone and you don't have the opportunity to write it down while I'm praying, you can just connect with it. It's not just a ritual. Believe in what we're doing. the name of Jesus we stand by this corporate grace and this corporate anointing Pastor Jax Ejimi there um, Pastor Alpha Benga overflow one Pastor Femi promise overflow two please quickly quickly let's go there and let's trust God to touch the people God has anointed this ministry and he has given us the grace to be the extension of the hand of Jesus over your life. And I want you to agree. I want you to believe. The worship team will lead us a moment of praise and worship while we pray. And please listen. Except the people are prophesying to you or they are talking to you. Just a touch. I want you to believe by faith. Are we together? You don't have to start giving them an explanation. This is why I'm here. Don't worry. Just connect by faith. If there is a word for you, the word will be given to you. Otherwise, just believe by faith. Father, we thank you. You call this place Koinonia and this meeting a miracle service. Lord, we pray for those online and those within. We decree and declare. Let there be a free flow of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Lord, let this touch not just be the touch of men. Let it be the touch of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let every one of these people come and testify here. In the name of Jesus. Now, those of you who, when you submit your prayer request, don't just be staring. This is not a cinema. You should be praying. 
Are we together? Because shortly after this, I will pray on this and I will speak over our lives. Prophecy is very powerful. So whilst you are standing there, whether you are, you know, up here or down, you should be prayerful, spiritualize your mentality. Now is not the time to laugh around and be talking carelessly. Let your spirit be alive. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be healed right now.
my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be and that's what my song will be hallelujah hallelujah that's what my song that's what my song will be 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 hallelujah hallelujah that's what my song that's what my song will be 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 come on say what my song will be and that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be Kado Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Those following from any nation of the world, I'd like you to just pray. We're just going to pray and speak over this. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. We're praying on this request. Shalabakaruta sabre de gete gata baladaba. Nataka parakato shadabre de gete beledebos. Father, let your people return with testimonies. Hashala gata brada gata barakato sada brada gadech. In the cross asia sahasa barakato shabrada gata balada ba. Rakata branda gata balada bush. Ebratos gata brandi gadi balada bush. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations be turned around by the Spirit of God. Lekato shata prateketo sabrada gadeba. 
Rakata parata parato sa de prete ke te baladaba. Arato se ke le monta shin daba. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, it is before you. These prayers are laid out. Father, we give you praise. Thank you because whatsoever we ask in your name, that you will do. Thank you for prayers. Thank you for answers. Thank you for praises. Thank you for testimonies that are bound. Father, we give you praise for there is nothing impossible with you. We give you glory because we know situations that have stood hitherto unbeatable. Lord, you will bend things tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will change things tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will bring breakthroughs by the power of your spirit. Amen. You bring healings. You bring deliverance. Amen. You will bring breakthrough, financial breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Amen. You bring changes, Lord, deaths, supernatural deaths will be cancelled by the power of your spirit. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you for angels, the release of angels. Angels on assignment Amen. Angels bringing solutions and answers to prayers. Father, we give you praise because many will stand before you to give testimony and give glory to your name. For in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It has been declared in the name of Jesus every request here. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, we turn it into testimonies. And let some of them begin to manifest from this night in the name of Jesus Christ let it be by the grace of God that by this time next month you will you will almost not have any request to write in the name of Jesus Christ our time is gone but I want you to lift your hands I want to speak over your life now apostle why do we do this all the time because this is how you program the destinies of people these words you see they are not just languages it's not just the speaking you know i never cease to be amazed at how people's lives change overnight just because a word the bible says he sent a word to jacob not he spoke he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel hallelujah and he blessed them saying and he blessed them not thinking saying in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that this month of September you are entering let it be called your season of strange results let it be called your season of strange results anyone who has despised the grace of God upon your life in the name of Jesus may God use your life to prove a point I decree and declare over your spiritual life a new vista of insight and access into the mysteries of the spirit I release it upon you right now if you are a man of God here I pray may your ministry shift to a new dimension if you are a woman of God here I pray may your ministry enter a new dimension of power I declare that someone here may you encounter the power of God raw, the raw power of God the same way God comes to men may his power come to you may you know the mysteries of the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life this is a family of great favor I declare if this grace is not yet speaking in your life I declare by the hand of God Almighty who brought that anointing upon my life and this house may favor practical favor begin to follow you from today in the name of Jesus Christ what you cannot do for yourself I ask my God to do it for you in this season 
if you're a man of God here I prophesy to you that the next time you stand upon this altar to dispense the word of God may you see a dimension of the spirit through your life and your ministry that will surprise you I know that there are many of us that are trusting God for all kinds of financial breakthrough I've taught you the principles of finances but there is a prophetic dimension of wealth are we together now and in the name of Jesus I declare the same grace that carried a raven and it brought bread to Elijah I decree and declare may that same grace carry your blessings and locate you with it in this season in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here in the name of Jesus and I say this from the depth of my heart enough is enough I prophesy it again enough is enough whatever represents setbacks in any family I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I command that an end comes to it this night every graduate here that is trusting God for a job you heard the testimony here in the name of Jesus Christ both where you applied and where you didn't apply may the angel of the Lord see to which that a miracle job locates you those who are in business here in the name of Jesus business is spiritual the grace that will cause your business to command strange results may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ if there is anyone here in any kind of trouble that needs the hand of God that means if God does not step in for you you know you are in trouble I stand by the gift of prophecy and I decree and declare over your life come out of that trouble now whether it's a financial trouble whether it's whatever come out of it now in the name of Jesus Christ every attack on your destiny I decree and declare from tonight by the assignment of angels we ward off that attack in Jesus name whoever has been destined by God to help you rise and either because of witchcraft or insensitivity in the spirit he has not been able to locate you in the name of Jesus I declare I call them by the spirit and I command that they locate you <laughs> believe in every prayer that we're praying we're entering the ember months and many people associate this month with all kinds of demonic activity minus you <laughs> I say it again minus you everyone who is part of this prophetic family and connected to this family I declare the mystery of exemption over you in the name of Jesus Christ that when men say there is a casting down I welcome you into the greatest months that you have to face for this year I decree and I declare over your life we're rounding up there are some of you nothing ever works in your life it's not like you are lazy it just doesn't work except it fails you to the point that even when you see success you are afraid of it because you know it will not last I declare not only will you be successful I command your results to last I say it again by the Spirit I command your results to last I forbid you from this experience of up today and down tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ any door that was once open and is now closed I reopen it in Jesus name 
hope you believe everything I'm saying. Please believe it with all your heart. I pray for every student here. I don't know what challenge you may be having. Or I don't know what you are trusting God for. In the name of Jesus, I pray particularly for students that are supposed to have graduated and one thing or the other is keeping them. I don't care what needs to be done. Let it be done to move you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it again. Let it be done to move you. There are some of our young ones that just wrote post UME. In the name of Jesus, there are some of you who the results you have seen now, from that result you will not get anything serious. I change that result now. I change that result now. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.